Hi everyone, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com and today I'm going to share some tips for sourcing high quality local meat. One of the questions that I get asked a lot is tips and information on where people can find the highest quality meat. So we all know that it's ideal to be buying locally, to know the farmer, to have organic grass-fed meat. And if you're new to eating a Weston A. Price type of diet or new to the GAPS diet or some type of a way of eating like that where the quality of your meat is something that's really important to you. It can be really tricky at first to make that transition just because of the practical parts of it and all the logistics of actually finding where to buy the kind of meat that you want to be eating. So I'm going to talk about some tips for getting started with this as well as some resources that we use. There are a lot of my viewers who are in the same area, so some of these will be some tips that you can use, but you'll be able to use these no matter where you live. It'll just be a matter of using the information that I'm gonna to share to find similar resources no matter where you live. So eating a variety of different meats is really helpful. It helps just keep meals interesting. It also helps with you know, keeping the variety of nutrients as big of a variety as possible also. And so we like to eat beef and chicken and then also lamb and pork and then fish and other seafood occasionally. So um, mostly what we tend to stock our freezers with are beef, chicken, pork, and lamb. And the bulk of that goes usually to beef. Now I have a few different places that I like to recommend where people can go to start buying beef when they're brand new to this way of eating and they want to start finding 100% grass-fed beef. There are starting to be more and more grocery stores, even regular grocery stores as well as health food stores that have bigger selections of grass-fed meats. That can be a really good place just to get you started. I do find that those tend to be more on the expensive side and at the same time the quality isn't always the best. The next place that I like to recommend people who are just starting out and just want to buy a few cuts at a time is US Wellness Meats and I have a link down in the description box to them. They're a mail order service so wherever you live in the United States you can get grass-fed beef really high quality and there are similar companies like this if you live in other countries as well but that's one of my favorites for mail order. And then of course the most ideal is finding farmers that are in your area. And I have one that we have used before that I've been really happy with. They have 100% grass fed beef and it's a little distance from us here in Colorado. And they are called Prairie Opal Ranch and that's where we most recently got a whole beef from. So I'm gonna have a link down to their website also because I know that a good number of my viewers are from Colorado as well and sometimes I get messages from people asking for local resources. So I'll have a link to Prairie Opal Ranch's website in the description box as well so that you can check them out. They also did tell me that they would like to start shipping their beef around as well. So even if you don't live in Colorado, I would definitely check in with them, let them know that you're interested in something like that so that they can start moving in that direction like I know that they're planning. Then they'll, they'll see the interest there and can start offering that soon. So once you're able to buy meat in bulk, it is definitely the way to go. So when you know your farmer, you can meet them, you can even visit the farm if you want to and just see how the animals are raised, that is the best. Also, when you buy a whole animal or a half or even a quarter, you're getting the most value for your money as well. So when you see the different cuts for sale in the grocery store, you'll see that there's you know more expensive cuts and then lesser expensive cuts. When you buy a whole or half or a quarter of an animal, it's just one flat rate per pound. So you get all the steaks and the fancier cuts as well as the ground beef and roasts and just all of that different variety for one flat per pound rate. So it, you end up saving a lot of money in the long run that way. You also get the option to ask for all the different extras that you would like. So the organ meats, the fat, the bones, all of that you can ask for and get when you buy meat in bulk this way. I also find that when you are buying meat 
by the whole or half or quarter of an animal. It really helps in eating nose to tail, which we know is the best for nutrition too, because rather than just going to the grocery store and being like, oh, I feel like buying some steaks this time, so that's what, what I'm gonna get. When you buy a whole animal, you get everything. So whether you like it or not, you get to work through all of those different cuts and your body gets that full variety. So that's one of the things I love about it too. And then I wanted to also just show you guys what a whole beef looks like in the freezer. So we haven't had this very long. We've eaten a bit of it, but there's still most of it here. So I just wanted to kind of give you an example of what you get. I try to organize it so that I can find the different cuts as easily as possible. And I've tried a few different methods in the past. You may have seen one of my videos in the past where I have put the different cuts of meat into bags and that can work pretty well. The bags do get pretty heavy though and sometimes they can tear. This time I didn't do that. I just tried to organize it in the deep freezer as best I could. So I have like, for example, ground meat in one section. I have some steaks, I have roasts, and then I have the different cuts that have soup bones with meat on them. So not like the meaty soup bones or shanks, short ribs, those kind of things. And then the organ meats all in one spot. So in case you were wondering, this is the amount of meat that fills up a chest freezer. This is what it looks like in a large chest freezer. So this was a whole beef that we got. And then I also asked for the fat. I asked for everything that I could get, fat, bones, organ meats. And so this is what it ends up looking like in your freezer. Definitely the way to go. It's all you have to do is just remember to take meat out to thaw and otherwise you are set to go. It's such a good feeling to have a freezer full of meat like this. It just makes planning meals so nice and easy and it's just, I love it. So those are my best tips for beef, some resources for just getting started, buying it online or even um, near you in regular stores, but um, buying it at US Wellness Meats is gonna give you better quality. And then of course, best of all is finding a local farmer like Prairie Opal Ranch and getting it straight from them. Now let's talk a little bit about other kinds of meats that you might wanna source. So for meat chickens, that can be a really tricky one. We raise our own meat chickens most of the time and so that's what we do. So if you're not able to do that, although I really encourage people to look into it, it's really, they're one of the easiest to get started with as far as raising animals in your backyard. So I would encourage you to, to just kind of see what, what you can do depending on where you live. But if that's not possible, the next best is to use a resource like the Weston A. Price Foundation, your local chapter, and ask them where is a good resource for buying local chicken. And then beyond that, it's really hard to find truly pasture-raised chickens in the stores. U.S. Wellness Meats does have some pasture-raised chicken available on their website, so that would be another place to go if you're not able to find any locally. You have to be really careful about labels when it comes to chicken, I find especially. There's lots of different wording that people try to use to make you think that their chicken's out on grass being moved to fresh pasture daily, like is ideal when they're really not. So they can say free range, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're actually on grass. That could just be bare dirt. It could also be a large barn with just a little pen that they're allowed to go out. So, you know, better than the factory farming, but still not the same as being moved to fresh grass every day. So anytime you can find out what the labeling really means, then that's always really helpful. And then for pork and lamb, same thing. We have local farmers that we get those from. So we buy the whole or half of an animal at a time, just like the beef. I can leave my local information for who I get pork and lamb down below if you're interested, if you're local to Colorado as well. But otherwise, I would recommend doing the same thing, just checking your local Weston A. Price chapter and seeing what they recommend for local farms for lamb and pork as well. Otherwise, US Wellness Meats, again, is another great place to get something like that online if you don't have a local source in your area. And then for seafood, for me, I'm in landlocked Colorado in the middle of the United States, so I don't have the most ideal situation for seafood. So I tend to do a mail order one and I will link down below where I get my seafood from online. But if you're on the coast, then you're gonna have more options, of course. Also, I guess when you're landlocked like I am, even if ocean seafood isn't available, there could be like wild trout and things that you, we could do. And so that's always an option as well. So that is another option available for us. But like I was saying, if you are more on uh, near the ocean, then of course you have lots more 
places there's usually some really good shops that carry seafood, fresh seafood, and you can find out you know, how they source them, make sure that they're wild caught and sustainable and all of that. Okay, so those are my best tips for sourcing high quality meat no matter what your situation is. I hope that you found that helpful. Be sure and check out that description box where I have links to all the different resources that I just talked about, different options for looking for meat depending on your situation and whether you're looking to buy in bulk or just getting started with buying a few cuts at a time. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody else you think would find it helpful or interesting. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out new videos every week on nourishing recipes and natural living. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.